In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build this animated scatter plot. The visualization shows life expectancy against fertility rate for all the countries in the world. I choose a 50 years time frame with 5 year steps, so it begins at 1960 and ends at 2010. The data is available on the worldbank.org website, so everybody can access it and download it. The raw data is not appropriate for processing in Tableau, so I restructured and cleaned it in Excel. If you want to learn more about how this procedure is done, then I recommend to check out the later section of this course, which is about preparing your data for Tableau. For now, you can just download the clean CSV file and work along. When Tableau is connected to the data source, we can see that it has dimensions such as country names, regions and years and two measures, fertility rate and life expectancy. If we open a worksheet and place the two measures on the shelves, we get a scatter plot. Let's break it down by countries. As you can see, we also get 15 null values which we can filter out. The database includes all countries of the world, but for some of them there is no data available hence the null values. We can also add region to the color shelf. The plot looks better now, but there is still not enough detail since Tableau aggregates values of 50 years. This is the perfect opportunity to include the animation in the visualization. You might have already wondered what the pages shelf is good for. Well, it lets you break a few into a series of pages. It works like those good old flipbook animations. The field you put on the pages shelf will break down the visualization by its values. So if we put year on it, then we get a series of plots by the years of 1960, 1965, 1970 and so on until 2010. This allows us to compare the data in different portions of time. You can flip the pages one by one manually by using these buttons or you can let Tableau go through them automatically by pushing this button. The flipping goes onwards and the reverse as well. Now this is very cool but we can make it even better by displaying the history of the marks. Check in the show history box and open the drop down next to it. Let's show the history for all marks and let's also show the trails. It means that as the mark moves, it lets a trail behind, so the user can see the route of the mark. At last we can format the trails, so they appear less vibrant than the actual marks. This makes the visualization less messy. Alright, so now we are finished, we can go through the animation. With these three buttons you can set the speed of flipping pages. I think this visualization looks really amazing. You can even use region as filter, so only those marks are visible which you are interested in. And this makes comparing marks a piece of cake. If you want to get a similar view but without using the pages shelf, there is a method for that as well. Let's open a new worksheet and create the same scatter plot. This time, before we add year, we can change the mark to line. As we put years on the path shelf, the visualization turns into a spaghetti looking structured plot. The lines are representing the changes of marks over the years. To enhance the visual appeal, we can reduce transparency, add some markers and also reduce the width of the lines. Basically, this gives us the very same plot but it summarizes all steps of changes in one visualization. Alright guys, I hope you found this tutorial interesting. I definitely like creating plots like these too. If there are some questions remaining unanswered, feel free to share them in the Q&A section.